Welcome to Agri Economics and Extension by Anukriti. So today's topic is Angel's Curve. Since in my last video I discussed all types of goods, so today we can discuss Angel's Curve. The video will be short and simple so that your concept get clear. So let's begin. Angel's Family Expenditure Curve. So uh, Ernst Engel was a German statistician who proposed Angel's Law in 1857, and Angel's Curve is based on Angel's Law. So Angel's Law states that as net family income rises the proportion of percentage of expenditure on food decreases however the absolute expenditure remains the same so this means that your in when your income rises then the proportion of your income spent on necessary goods decreases like food shelter clothing etc so more amount of your income will be spent on luxury and less amount of that increase in income will be spent on necessities you can easily relate this with your day-to-day -day life Angel's curve helped to describe relationship between income and expenditure. So there are two types of Angel's curve. First is Angel's family expenditure curve and there is Angel's family consumption curve. So today we are going to discuss Angel's family expenditure curve that we have to study for your exam. We will discuss Angel's curve for four types of goods. First it's normal or necessary goods, then second one is luxury goods, then comes your inferior goods and the fourth one is your uh, neutral goods. The first one is Angel's curve for necessities or normal goods. So these law, these goods follow your Angel's law. So expenditure on normal goods increases, but the proportion of income spent of them decreases, as we discussed earlier. Hence, slope is increasing and the curve curve is upward sloping. Now suppose your income doubles. Will you allow double budget your grocery items? No, you won't. Your consumption will obviously increase, but you won't double the amount of grocery items because your income doubles. So this is what uh, happens in case of normal goods. Now let's see the curve, Angel's curve for normal or necessary goods. So on Y axis we have income, on X axis we have quantity of good purchased. So suppose your income is 10,000, the quantity purchased was 5 kg, your income doubled, sorry your income increased to 15,000 the quantity purchase is 7 kg now your income is almost double of 10,000 so you purchase only 8 kg so here we can clearly see that there is uh, more increase in your income and less increase in the quantity purchase with rise in income so when we join all these points we get a curve which is upward sloping now we can compare the slope slope is change in income by change in quantity so in first case the changes of 5,000 in income and 2 uh, kg in your quantity so the slope is 5000 by 2 now in second case the change is of 5000 but the change in quantity is 1 so it's 5000 so here we can see the slope is increasing as income is rising so this was about your normal good now let's look at your luxury so angel's curve for luxury goods so under luxury goods comes branded uh, clothes your jewelry your uh, branded watches etc so what happens is when your income increases, the amount of your income spent on these luxury items increases as your income is rising. So uh, expenditure in proportion of income spent on luxury increases more and more as income rises. So the slope is declining and the curve is downward sloping and the curve is concave to x axis. So let's look at these uh, on the graph. On x axis we have quantity, on y axis we have income. Now suppose your income was 30,000 and the amount of luxury items in your home was 10. Now your income increases to 40,000 and the amount of luxury item in your home is 15. And then your income is 60,000 and the amount of luxury item is 30. So here we can clearly see that the income is increasing at less, um, uh, at less uh, rate but the quantity of luxury item is increasing more. So this creates a gap, so therefore the slope is declining. So in first we can see the changes of 10,000 in income and the change in your luxury is 5. So it's 10,000 by 5. Now the in second case the income change is 20,000 and the change is 15. So it's 20,000 by 15. So here we can see that the slope is in decreasing. Why it's decreasing? Because change in income is less than change in quantity. Okay, so therefore the slope is declining and the curve is downward sloping and as we can see from the curve that curve is concave to x-axis. So this was about your luxury good. 
now the third one is your inferior goods inferior goods are like for example non branded items food items your bajra also is an inferior good and low quality bread etc are your uh, inferior goods inferior goods are generally cheap goods so when your income increases you spend more uh, you you spend less amount of your money on inferior goods and would try to buy more of a organic brand of say food items so you will uh, your purchase of inferior goods decreases with increase in your income so as income increases the money spent on inferior goods decreases and the curve of inferior good is backwards bending so let's look at this graphically on the x axis we have quantity on y axis we have income now suppose your income was 20000 and the amount of bajra you were purchasing was 10 kg now your income rises to 40000 the amount of bajra you are you are buying is only 6 kg because now you have more money to purchase good quality food now suppose your income rises to 60000 you will buy only 3 kg of bajra so let's meet all these point and we get a curve which is backward bending so this happens in case of inferior goods the slope is backward bending and when we find out the slope the slope is negative now the fourth type is neutral goods so neutral goods are those goods which show no change with rise or decrease in income a perfect example for this is salt or we can also say medical prescriptions like insulin shots for a diabetic patient so these are example of neutral good whatever the change in income doesn't change the purchase of these neutral goods but they show a substitution effect substitution effect means these goods have substitutes but they do not show any change uh, with change in income so so angels curve for these is a straight line parallel to y axis since there is no change in quantity purchased so in the graph we can see when your income was 20000 you purchase 1 kg of salt when your income was 40000 then also you purchase 1 kg salt obviously you won't start eating more salt because you are getting rich so 60000 also same quantity when we match all these point we get a straight line which is parallel to y axis so this was the case of neutral goods so in, to summarize we have necessary goods or normal goods the slope is upward sloping the slope is increasing in luxury good it's downward sloping the slope is declining in inferior goods it's backward bending slope is negative and for neutral goods it's a straight line parallel to y axis so this was your angels curve uh thank you for watching the video till the end if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe to the channel and also press the notification bell so that you don't miss any update see you in the next video